Hey children, have you wondered why we sleep? Why is it so important? Well, let's find out with this book, which is a Let's Read and Find Out Science Stage 1 book. It's called Sleep is for Everyone by Paul Showers, illustrated by Wendy Watson. Sleep is for everyone. When a horse goes to sleep, its eyelids go down. When a chicken goes to sleep, its eyelids go up. When a snake sleeps, its eyes stays open. Snakes have no eyelids. When you go to sleep, which way do your eyelids go? It's down. An elephant can sleep standing up. A pigeon sits down. When it sleeps, pigs lie down to sleep. So do dogs. So do you. Sometimes dogs curl up. So do cats. Cows don't. Do you? Sometimes. Like birds and animals, people have to sleep. Some people sleep more than others. Jonathan is only six weeks old. He sleeps most of the time. He only wakes up when he wants to eat or have his diaper changed. Caroline is two years old. She goes to bed right after her dinner. She sleeps all night, 12 hours or more. She takes a nap in the afternoon too. When Caroline doesn't get her nap, she's cranky. She cries. She throws things, but the next morning, she feels fine. After she's had a good night's sleep. Mm. When people are little, they are growing and they need a lot of sleep. As they grow bigger and older, they need less sleep. School children need to sleep about 10 to 12 hours a night. Most grown-ups need only 7 or 8 hours. But babies, children and grown-ups, all of them need to have their sleep. Every part of your body has to rest after it does its work. Your arms need to rest after they carry heavy bundles. When you run fast, your legs work hard. They get tired and you have to rest them. Your brain works hard too. It never stops working. When you are awake, it helps you pay attention to the world around you, to the sights you see and the sounds you hear, and to the things you taste and smell and feel. You can sit perfectly still and rest your arms and legs, but your brain isn't resting. It goes right on thinking as long as you are awake. At night, your brain needs a rest from thinking. It needs to turn off the world the way you turn off the light when you go to bed. Sleep is the time when part of your brain takes rest. Some parts of your brain keep working even when you are asleep. Your brain keeps your heart beating and your lungs breathing, but your eyes are shut and they don't see. Your ears are open, but you don't hear many sounds. Your brain doesn't think wide awake thoughts when you sleep, but it dreams. Scientists have tried to find out what would happen if people didn't get enough sleep. The scientists didn't go to bed. They stayed up all night and all the next day and all that night and the day after that. They grew very sleepy. It was harder and harder to stay awake. They tried to read but they couldn't follow the words. They tried to look at TV but their eyes kept closing. 
They played games, but they made mistakes. It was harder and harder for their tired brains to think. The scientists grew cross and mean. They got mad at their friends. They kept walking around the room so they wouldn't fall asleep. They drank coffee. They kept yawning. Finally, the scientists were too tired to stand up any longer. When they sat down, they fell asleep in their chairs. They simply couldn't stay awake anymore. If people stay awake too long, they don't feel well. Scientists do not know exactly why sleep is good for people, but they know that all people need it to be healthy and to feel good. Sometimes it is hard to go to bed. Perhaps I want to watch something on TV. But my mother makes me go to bed. Sometimes she is cross with me. That's because she is tired. Sometimes I am cross. That's because I am tired. Most of the time I go to bed when my parents tell me it is warm under the covers. Sometimes I curl up or I stretch out and twist and twist around. I yawn, I shut my eyes, I feel as if I'm floating. My thoughts begin to wander. I'm floating on a rubber mattress in a pool or in a balloon high up in the clouds. I think different things, riding my bicycle, roller skating, an airplane high in the sky, a basket of apples, waves at the seashore, racing cars, my goldfish. Soon I stop thinking, I'm asleep. Now. Will you all go to sleep when your mom asks you to? She knows the story very well. That's why she is asking you to do that. If you like this video, do hit the like and subscribe button. Bye.